It's all come down to this as South Carolina and Iowa prepare to do battle in the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship game. The men get their turn tomorrow and joining us this morning from Cleveland, Ohio, where the women are playing is ESPN basketball analyst Andrea Carter. Andrea, welcome back. It's great to have you. Thank you all so much. This is the best day of the year. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we're off to the races here. Let's start with the women. What does each team have to focus on in order to win a national championship? Okay, so you all know a lot goes into this wonderful game of basketball that I love so much. So everything falls under these two things. For South Carolina, can they contain and limit the greatest scorer we have seen in the college game in Caitlin Clark. South Carolina has to figure out a way to limit Caitlin Clark and her incredible scoring ability. UConn did it with a defender named Nika Mule, who's one of the best defenders I've ever seen. South Carolina has to do it as a team. They've got to throw different things at Caitlin Clark. Now for Iowa, their main focus is going to be limiting Camilla Cardoso on the inside. Camilla Cardoso is six foot seven. She has a ton of size. She's been playing very dominant. They have to slow down Camilla and all of South Carolina's size. Because the one thing about South Carolina, it's not just Camilla. They rotate post players in that are tall, they're athletic, and they have great skills. So for South Carolina, can they slow down Caitlin's scoring? For Iowa, can they limit South Carolina's bigs? Those are just the main focuses. Everything else falls under that. Oh, my gosh. So who do you think will be the X factors here in this game? Anyone who impressed you on Friday that, that could step up besides Camilla and Caitlin? Okay, so uh, there are so many players I could name, and I'm just going to pick one from each team. Hannah Stolke for Iowa. She had a phenomenal game. She runs the floor hard. She had 23 points. She has to play big because I just mentioned South Carolina's size. So Hannah Stolke for the Hawkeyes, and then for South Carolina, Ashlyn Watkins. She comes off of the bench. She's an elite athlete, guys. She can dunk the basketball. We probably won't see it in the national championship game because it's a little too risky, but she had 20 rebounds against NC State. The energy that she can play with could be really tough for Iowa to match. All reasons why this game tonight is going to be so good. Okay, Andrea, let's turn to the men now. They play tomorrow, UConn versus Purdue. What is the biggest storyline for the men's tournament? You know, if I go treetops with this one, I think it's really special with this matchup. One, they're both number one overall seeds, but coming in from very different places. UConn is looking to repeat as national champions. Purdue is looking for revenge. This is a Purdue team that got knocked out of the tournament early. So if you go UConn looking to repeat, they're extremely balanced top to bottom. They had five guys in double figures in their last game to get to the national championship game for Purdue. Again, looking for revenge. And their main focus, their go-to player, is Zach Eady on the inside. Right. So one team looking to repeat with a ton of balance. One team looking for revenge with Zach Eady. Andrea, as always, thank you so much. Again, you can catch Iowa versus South Carolina in the Women's Championship game at 3 Eastern right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.